Hi everyone, Lior is here with another Jumpstart Lightning episode and we are continuing our Nuts and Bolts video series. Today we're going to talk about the Log Analytics extension with Azure Arc enabled servers. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, Lior is here with another Jumpstart Lightning episode and we are continuing our Nuts and Bolts video series. I have Arnov with me. Arnov, how are you doing, sir? Doing well, how are you? I'm doing great. This is another episode of you and I talking about some cool things around Azure Arc enabled servers in the context of nuts and bolts. And today you're here to talk to me about the log analytics extension with Azure Arc enabled servers. That's right. So, you know, our log analytics and extensions in general is part of really the value proposition of Azure Arc because just onboarding Azure Arc enabled servers, um, it's great and it helps you when you want to do fleet management and tagging and all these good stuff. But the real value proposition and where Azure Arc enabled servers shine is where we're starting to use the extension model. And today uh, you want to talk to me about the log analytic extension and why is that important? Right on. And, and you met, you hit it right on the head. I mean, Azure VMs, you have the VM extension capabilities where it makes it really easy to manage all the Azure services that you're adding on to your Azure VMs. And so with Arc enabled servers, you can extend those same Azure kind of VM style extension capabilities to your server sitting outside of Azure. And so for example, log analytics and Azure's monitoring and observability capabilities, you mm -hmm. can easily manage the agentry around that using this VM extension paradigm for, for your Arc enabled servers. And so we're gonna be specifically focusing in on log analytics, which is one of our most popular, if not our most popular extension alongside uh, Azure Monitor. Um, and the reason is with the log analytics agent um, and log analytics extension, you're able to connect to a log analytics workspace mm -hmm. and you're able to onboard to other services like Microsoft Defender for Cloud, uh, Microsoft Sentinel as well. And you're able to get a lot of visualizations through VM insights, dashboarding, et cetera. So, so there's a lot of capabilities that mm -hmm. the log analytics extension enables you to apply to your Arc enabled server. And I think you touch a very important point before we're switching into, I know that you have a cool demo to show me, but uh, you know, you touch a very important point because we always said that Azure Arc enabled servers in the context of compliance, security, and governance is really where rubber meets the road, right? But um, I think that log analytics is really uh, the fundamental building block in order to enable all this stuff, right? Because you can't have anything exposed or uh, in terms of observability and no metrics will be flushed into the, um, into the platform without that. So that's a very important topic for us to really domestify and understand as we are doing this. And I know that you have a cool demo to show me. So I think let's just uh, jump into it and see what we have. Awesome, sounds great. So why don't we dive right in and so we have this Arc enabled server that we've onboarded uh, to our nuts and bolts resource group that you might remember from our, our previous video. And mm -hmm. uh, diving right in, we have this VM extension view. And within this VM extension view, we actually have a very easy point and click experience where you can go ahead, go right in, and you could actually just point and click and add the log analytics agent. And it's gonna set up and configure a log analytics workspace connect your resource to it and uh, mm -hmm. apply the log analytics extension, which then you can manage, keep up to date, uh, et cetera. And so in this specific instance, we're gonna be connecting to an existing uh, log analytics workspace that I'm just gonna be uh, pulling up right here. So we can go into portal and we're gonna be opening up a log analytics workspace that's actually uh, sitting right here within our nuts and bolts uh, resource group. And that's bolts. And it's also, uh, you, you might be getting a, a theme here. It's called the nuts and bolts workspace. Um, so here we can go to agent management and we're going to be able to pick up the workspace ID. Um, put that right there. And in terms of the workspace key, we also have that right here. And so you can copy that and put that right in. Next, we can go to review and create. And one thing, Arno, before you are hitting that create button, you know you have you have an Azure, uh, sorry, you have an Azure Arc enabled server, right? This is uh, this is a Windows server that you're now about to install. Um, in the spirit of nuts and bolts, what's you know what's happening behind the scene? I mean, uh, right now I would assume that there is nothing on the machine, right, in terms of the extension. Uh, but yep. will we be able to see that like before and after? Yep, right on. So we can actually um, I have the RDP open right here. So we see um, in apps and features, we have the Azure Connected Machine Agent, 
which was necessary to kind of project into mm -hmm. Azure through Arc, as you know, where you don't have the MMA um, uh, agent that's associated with log analytics there right now. Mm -hmm. okay. And so we should be able to see that uh, come up here uh, after onboarding. Okay, cool. Awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Create. And I do this uh, using uh, the Azure portal experience. You can do this using a CLI command if that's your preference too. And there's actually a range of different ways you can do log analytics deployment. Um, mm -hmm. We actually have this really handy article that walks through kind of the different ways you can do log analytics onboarding. And so you can use this VM extension paradigm. You can use Azure policies too. And um, there's a little bit of flexibility. A lot of people are interested um, for example, in kind of the Azure monitor capabilities. Mm. And so you can you can also do that through Azure policy um, as well in terms of enablement. And you can even create a, a Azure automation runbook that's gonna automate the deployment um, of the VM extension to your machines at scale. Um, another option is actually using Azure Auto Manage too, where in Azure Auto Manage best practices, onboarding your server to a log analytics workspace that's mm. automated for you as well. So there's really a range of ways you can do this deployment um, at scale and both at kind of the granularity you want, um, mm -hmm. as well as with the configuration you want if you have an um, workspace you already want to onboard to. And, you know, Arnov, uh, one thing that I really like is that that doc really shows you a very comprehensive list of the options. You know, I like options. I now I, I like to know, you know, what are the things that I can do and how can I uh, a lot of the time manipulate uh, the things that I'm doing in terms of automation. So I really like the fact that we're documenting all these options. And obviously, we're going to share that in the description below uh, the link to that uh, document. But I also want to touch on one important piece that that you brought up, which is the Azure policy and also auto manage, right? Mm -hmm. uh, again, coming back to this uh, notion of governance and compliance and uh, really at scale, I think that Azure policy is really the gateway of doing this um, at mm -hmm. scale because mm -hmm. going and installing the extensions the way you just did on a single server, that's easy. But what happens when you have like hundreds of servers uh, uh, that you need to onboard uh, with this extension? So that's important. Right on. And, and we can actually show what happens from the policy plane too. And we can get kind of hands on with that as well. And so that's also actually a really simple experience in terms of getting that deployment up and ready. And then the beauty is whenever you actually uh, onboard a server to mm -hmm. Azure Arc, to this resource group where this policy is being assigned, it's actually going to be handling the deployment um, of the log analytics extension for you based off of the, the workspace you give it. So um, we can actually go ahead and assign and create a policy and show what that looks like. Mm -hmm. um, so we, here we have our Arc Enable Services demo. We're not gonna exclude anything. Um, and here we can go in and we can go for log analytics. Um, and so uh, there's gonna be a log analytics. And so you can see that Linux machines should have log analytics agents installed on Azure Arc. Of course, we're working with the Windows uh, machine in this instance. Yeah. Um, but and we're being and we are being very explicit by the fact that this is an Azure Arc policy that you are doing here. Like this is going to apply on Azure Arc machines that you just onboarded. Yep, that's right. And so we have the Windows machine should have the log analytics agent installed on Azure Arc, mm -hmm. and we're going to be selecting that. Right on. Awesome. And then next, um, we're going to actually be including our connected servers. Mm -hmm. Um, we're going to be creating a managed identity, so it'll handle um, the remediation as necessary during the deploy if not exists component of the mm -hmm. policy. And mm -hmm. it should be noted, by the way, this is not a guest configuration policy, so this is a free uh, free Azure policy to use with your Arc enabled server. Um, yeah. That's just a caveat. And no non-compliance message, great. And then we can actually go ahead and we can... Um, review and, and we can create and assign this policy. So if we onboard more Arc Enable servers uh, to this resource group, yep. then you're gonna have that log analytics extension automatically be deployed. And so this really yep. is something you can almost kind of point click and forget. And then afterwards you can actually, just like you would any other Azure policy, check whether or not you have compliance or not. If for example, the extension deployment failed mm -hmm. and you could do a remediation task, for example. Which is really where Azure Policy shines, right? In terms yeah. of this specific this specific use case. So I'm curious what happened with the server that uh, that we installed the extension on. 
Um, yep. So I see the deployment is still in progress. Will we will we be able to see something already in the uh, in the machine itself? Yeah, let's see. So it looks like um, it's accepted, and I I can kind of look in the operation details, but I think that uh, it's still it's still ongoing. Um, when it will work, um, you'll be able to see um, here under or under apps and features as well, kind of the the necessary agents for log mm -hmm. analytics as well. Um, but it can take a little bit of time to do the deployment uh, between 10 to 20 minutes. Um, oh, so it looks like the deployment succeeded. You know, perfect timing for us. Perfect timing. Yeah. So um, we can um, go into default apps, we can go to apps and features. And so I think we can go into programs and features too, and, and we might be able to see it there. This can take a bit of time, and you know, yeah. based on based on some of the experience that I that I did with the log analytics uh, extension. But basically, the user should expect to see this uh, to see the uh, uh, the extension and the agent um, installed on the machine in order for you to actually validate that this actually worked. Yep, right on. And, and the thing is, we can actually already see it um, within our Azure view, right? And so, part of the paradigm of Arc enabled services, you don't actually need to go in. To the to the to the server level to actually check it, um, mm -hmm. you have this Azure projection, and that's actually going to show you the extension already. And so we already see MMA uh, successfully um, successfully deployed right here. We see its version, and mm -hmm. we can actually do, for example, auto extension upgrades as well um, with this as well if we were interested in that too. Um, but to kind of show some of the capabilities mm -hmm. that you get with the log analytics agent and with MMA, we can show um, VM insights um, for this uh, pre-configured um, Arc enabled server that mm -hmm. actually has uh, the monitoring agent, dependency agent enabled. I, I believe it was deployed through policy in this case. And um, we can see what that looks like. So we have this really rich performance view from VM insights. And remember, this is actually, this Tailwind server too is sitting outside of Azure and we're collecting all of this all of this, um, this data. And so we can see sort of kind of CPU util utilization, memory data, uh, disk level data as well. Mm -hmm. um, and we could develop our own kind of custom dashboarding, alerts, yeah. rules, workbooks, all of that around this, which is really, really neat in terms of all of the Azure observability we're able to leverage. And, and, that's, super, yeah. and that's super powerful, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and you can just imagine how cool it is when you have multiple Arc enabled server, so you could have your entire on-prem uh, server estate being projected alongside your Azure mm -hmm. VMs, and you can tie them together into a single dashboard. I mean, it's really neat. Um, so here we have a, a map view as well, and we can look at kind of um, inbound and outbound uh, network connectivities as well. And mm -hmm. we can even actually do um, do sort of traffic connections even um, with yeah. this. And so there's, there's a whole host of, of visualizations and kind of observability capabilities you get with, with MMA dependency agent and with Azure Monitor. Um, and you're able to easily apply that to your Arc-enabled servers. That's super cool, Arnold, and thank you for that. Thank you for that cool demo. And I think that uh, one thing that I'm taking out of this is mm -hmm. when, you know, when you show the dependency and the metrics and the performance and all that stuff, that's where things are getting real, at least for me, you know, in my book, when I'm starting to see data Starting to be uh, started to be projected. That's where I think that okay, this is this is real. Um, but the one important thing to notice is that it's literally the same experience that you have with an Azure Monitor, um, the Azure Monitor experience that you have on top on on top of Azure VMs, just native Azure VMs. So that's super cool to see that parity going on with Azure Arc enabled servers. Right on. So. Arnov, thank you so much for coming to uh, the Nuts and Bolts video series and show me how the log analytics extension work with Azure Arc enabled servers. And for our viewers, thank you so much for watching this episode. Continue to support us by liking this video, subscribe to the channel so we can bring people like Arnov to the show and have a conversation with them about all the cool things that are happening in the Azure Arc space. Arnov, I want to say thank you for uh, joining me. Thanks so much for having me. And thank you everyone for watching. We'll see you next time.